Ah, another exhausting day of being a responsible adult. Time to relax and unwind. Who needs high-tech graphics and immersive gameplay when you have the intellectual challenge of a crossword puzzle? Am I right? Ah, the soothing aroma of herbal tea beats the adrenaline rush of online battles any day. Gardening, it's like playing a strategy game, except in real life and with actual dirt. Budgeting and financial planning, the ultimate game of balancing resources. I should be on the leaderboard for this. Time to embrace my inner handyman. Repairing things is like leveling up in the game of real life. Socializing with friends, the multiplayer experience that never needs updates. Man, adulting sure is exhausting. But who needs video games when we can conquer the challenges of life itself? Ah, the joy of losing myself in a good book beats smashing buttons any day. So, while others are gaming, I'll be conquering the world, one responsible adult move at a time. Hey there friends, welcome or welcome back to Call Sign Wolf. As always, my name is Justin and I was not expecting to make this video at 9am this morning, but here we are. Um, so I'm going to preface this by saying that I am not exactly putting these people on blast, but I am putting these people on blast because, uh, quite frankly, so having said that, I'm not doing, again, I'm not doing this to necessarily like, you know, bring hate their way. I'm just addressing the situation. So the situation is this. I hate seeing comments that are like, oh. You're an adult. Stop playing video games. Oh, you're an adult. Act like one. Grow up. Video games are for kids. I, I hate seeing that shit. I also hate seeing people who just leave negative comments in general. Like, it's one thing if you're going to leave constructive criticism, but it's another to just kind of attack my character or attack me personally or attack my content just because when there's no logical explanation behind it. Now, to my surprise, at like 8 o'clock this morning, uh, I get a comment on my announcing November giveaway video here. Adults still play this? Grow up. Laughing emoji, clown emoji, clown emoji, clown emoji. And of course, my retort of, says the guy with a mostly gaming channel, but I could do other things as well. Like, yeah, dude, seriously, like when it comes to shit like that, golden rule. Like, if you don't like something or you don't agree with something, then just ignore it. Why must you leave a comment like this on someone's video just because you think that they're into something they shouldn't be? It's different if that person's a pedophile or a map or whatever the fuck you want to call them. People who deserve to be shot right in the face, public execution style. This kind of shit, like, you, you don't need to leave that kind of shit on someone's fucking video, right? Like, it's just, again, it doesn't really bother me per se. It's just... It irks me. And the whole reason why I'm addressing it is because it's like, again, why must you do this? I would physically love a retort. So this is the guy here. I was like, oh, well, maybe he's like brand new to YouTube or whatever. No, this motherfucker has been on since 2016, right? And again, hey guys, I'm mostly a gaming channel, but I can do other things as well. Just starting a new YouTube. Hope you all enjoy. Yeah, and then he posts these two videos two years ago. And what are they? <gasps> Video games. Now, judging by his profile picture here, I, I can't say for sure exactly his age because the light does kind of hinder the whole appearance here. But if I had to guess, I'd say he's between the ages of 16 and probably 20, 24 at the oldest 25 at the oldest something like that so given that age gap of nine years um i'm gonna go out on a limb and say he's probably the latter at this point and to be commenting something like this the two videos that are public are both of what appears to be destiny just saw your tiktok and followed you on both thank you by the way Thank you for doing this for the people. However, I want Call of Duty. I love this. I want Call of Duty with the celebration emoji. I fucking love this. But to see stuff like that, it just, it legitimately irks my nerves. Uh, and again, that's not the only one that I've seen. Bro has 214 subs. Skull emoji. <laughs> Is 
The whole video, the, the, the title is clickbait. Yeah, it's, it's clickbait. I can't even hide that. But the, the mindset that led this veteran to 1 million subscribers. If you were to watch this video, at the very end, the last few moments of the video, it says, haven't done it yet, but I'll get there. Some, some of the effect of I'll get there one day or something like that, right? So the whole thing is, um, and then this dude gets to the whole freaking point. Uh, for the most part, I'd say if I had to put a percentage on it, and this is a guesstimate, 90% of the comments that I get are all, for the most part, positive. I'm nobody. Who am I? Right? But at the same time, I also understand that I have to be able to make something of myself for people to primarily just leave more or less positive comments. 95 to 98 percent positive comments or semi-neutral comments of course everybody and anybody is going to still have their haters but when it comes to uh julian mitchell 4600 here uh, i'm guessing you were born in uh april of april 6th of 2000 again i'm not putting you directly on blast but i'm putting you on blast i'm making an example of you and i would again love a retort this is going to be an actual conversation now for, for a few moments here. I want to know why you think that adults can't enjoy just games in general. Whether I'm misconstruing that or not, I, that that's for you to go ahead and let me know. But as adults, we should have a conversation over this because again, you're not the first one to comment, oh, you know, grow up. I have a full-time job, bro. I work 84 hours every pay period, if not more. I'm able to do the things that I'm able to do because it's all done in my free time. I really would genuinely love for you to explain to me, not in comment form, but in video form, why you think that I shouldn't play Call of Duty or DayZ or Tarkov or any other video game that I personally enjoy, all because you seem to think that your opinion is that adults shouldn't play video games and that we need to grow up. Again, I have bills. I have responsibilities, right? I, I'm, I'm, I know that I'm not a teenager anymore, but I still choose to play video games because, and admittedly, this may not be the strongest argument here, I enjoy them. I've been playing video games for over 30 years because I enjoy them. They're my, my small escape from reality. And when I see people, you know, belittle others because they can't enjoy what they're enjoying because it seems like, oh, that's not the very adult thing for you to do. Well, who the fuck cares? You know, my best friend, right? My best friend, Carl, loves to hunt, loves to fish. He's an outdoorsman, right? Loves to shoot guns and drink beer. Your typical man's man, right? Another friend, Connor, he's been on the channel as well. Connor loves cars. Connor also loves video games. Ryan, who sadly does not play Call of Duty anymore, but he also plays video games. He also likes to golf. Video games aren't my entire life. They're a large portion of it, sure, but I try to balance video games with family life, with friends. Admittedly, I have not been the absolute best of friend lately, and that's mainly because of my work schedule and their work schedules, but I still care about my friends. I've already grown up. Like, I don't, I don't need this shit. I don't need this shit. So that's pretty much my rant for this. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to keep this as short as possible. Um, again, if you guys are interested in the giveaway for Modern Warfare 3, I know I just talked about video games and stuff like that. This video here is the one you're gonna wanna go on. Announcing November giveaway. You can't see that, hold on, let me fix that. Boom, there we go. Announcing November giveaway, it's got this thumbnail. This is the only one you're gonna be interested in. I am doing a giveaway for November and then I'm doing a separate one in December, same exact giveaway, but just two separate. I'm willing to spend $140 on two complete strangers, one for the, the launch of the game and the second one for, you know, just in time for a belated Christmas gift. And we'll get into that in December's announcement. But uh, if you guys are interested, all you need to do is go to this video, come down here to the comments section and go ahead and just type out, hey, I want Call of Duty. That'll let me know, hey, you're interested. I'm not asking you to subscribe. I'm not asking you to follow me on other platforms. I'm not asking you to like the video or anything like that. All you need to do is just comment, I want Call of Duty. I will go on to this, uh, this here random comment uh, website or whatever. 
plug in the uh, the link to it. It'll choose a random winner, and that's how we will get to it. And I will uh, be emailing you. So make sure that on your YouTube channel that your uh, emails are uh, at least public or whatever. You know, so I'll be coming over here and going, okay, well, you know, let's see about. Oh, look, he doesn't have a business email attached. Okay, whatever. So there's really no way for me to get in contact with people based off of their profile. Uh, as far as I'm aware, if there is a way, I would also care to, to know that as well. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Again, if you guys enjoy the video, I would you know ask that you support the channel by potentially subscribing or liking the video, sharing this with your friends. You can also join me over on TikTok, which is also uh, a place where I, I post random bullshit or whatever, nothing extra special about it, but it is uh, for the most part original in some way, shape or form. So until next time, take care guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, I shall see you in the next one. Until then, take care.